Hey guys, what's going on? It's Space Cowboy here. Welcome back to the channel. I have another video for you guys here today. What we're going to be doing is an instant reaction to the Dallas Cowboys selection in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft. Now, we're all aware it's Micah Parsons, linebacker out of Penn State. So what I wanted to do was have a full retrospective of how the Cowboys got to where they were at in the first round, how they did with the selection, and ultimately how do I think it's going to pan out and maybe a instant grade, okay? So to start things off, we know the Cowboys needed to focus on defense. It was the biggest issue that they had going on last year, okay? So they get into this draft. They start out with... You know, before they even get to pick ten, you have a situation in which okay, if you were on the Kyle Pitts train, he goes the four, he goes four to Atlanta. Then you have Jamar Chase go to Cincinnati. Then you have uh, Jalen Waddle go to Miami at six. Penny Sewell, who I was very high on, he went to Detroit. Then you had both cornerbacks, which I really did like, go eight and nine to Carolina and. Denver. So you had J.C. Horn go 8. You had Patrick Sertan the second go 9. Now Dallas is sitting there at 10. Now you're kind of like, well, what the hell are we going to do? So what Dallas decided to do was, and I even said that, the, that their best bet would be to trade down and take the best available player on their board. And so they decided to swap picks with the Philadelphia Eagles, which I was even talking about. What the hell are they doing? And then the, when you really think about it, the move isn't that big of a issue because if you think about it it was either the Eagles were going to get Devontae Smith or the Giants so what ended up happening was was that Dallas was like you know what let's move down to, let's move down two spots so we'll move down to 12 then we'll get some picks in return the Dallas Cowboys got pick 84 if I believe they got another third round pick in this draft which is fantastic compensation what to move down what, what two spots and so, and you can argue really moved down one because the Giants ended up trading that pick to Chicago so that they could take Justin Fields. But either way, Dallas is on the clock at 12. They could take basically the best player on the board, which was either Rashawn Slater, Micah Parsons, JOK, Adam Notre Dame. They had plenty of options. And I think that Dallas had Micah Parsons really high on their board. And to be completely honest with you, I think it was a fine selection. So at 12, uh, with an added third round pick, Dallas gets Micah Parsons. Now, in terms of how I like the pick, do I like it, do I hate it? I really like the pick, okay? So you trade down, you get an extra third round pick, and you still get the guy you wanted. Perfect, cool. Now, I understand some people are a bit apprehensive to this selection. We already have a linebacker, or rather we have two linebackers you're focusing on, so this is a waste of draft capitals. I've gone on record and said that if the Cowboys don't get the guy they want at 10, you trade down and you get the best player on the board, which most likely would be a linebacker. Now, in this instance, they only moved down two spots, so really they still had a pick of Rashawn Slater or whoever the hell else they wanted, which you couldn't have gone wrong with that pick either. But you get a guy that comes in and immediately fixes one part of your defense that needed to be fixed and that was linebacker as much as some people might not want to admit it linebacker was a massive need and you might be saying well how look lve has gotten hurt he's been getting hurt and to be honest with you ever since his rookie year he hasn't been that number one guy or rather that guy i would you know want you know we all wanted him to be or rather thought that we had in that first year with him Jalen has been a massive disappointment in the sense of he hasn't had the ability to cover properly and also it's just you know you're paying him all this money and really with adding Micah Parsons in here he's your best linebacker and I'm not afraid to say that Micah Parsons is a beast of an athlete that brings this whole new element of oh he's gonna wreck shit when he's in here and that's just what I saw from him at Penn State. As a, I'm a huge Penn State fan. I've watched him since he started there. And to be completely honest, he is, you know, rather he was one of those guys where I was like, I won't be mad if the Cowboys took him because I've watched him. I think when he steps in with the Cowboys, he's going to do his thing. Or rather, any team. 
Now, there are questions about his off the field stuff, and I completely understand that. But ultimately, the way I look at it is that if he manages to reach his full potential, oh, you definitely made the right selection at 12. Okay. And in terms of an initial grade, I'd probably give it, given the circumstances and how you went about it, I'd give it a solid B plus to an A minus. I'm not going to give you an A, A plus with the pick, but you trade down and still get the guy that you wanted given the circumstances that you were at at 10, you know, and that's a win in my book. I think that this is step one in addressing the defense. You get a guy that's going to basically be all over the field, which is something that Dan Quinn wants. So he gets that, you know, that first building block. Going into tomorrow, the Cowboys have four more picks. You have one second rounder in three, or excuse me, uh, four, three, or three third rounders. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> it's late. So... Dallas has four picks to work with, so they can move up, they can do whatever they want. Uh, there wasn't a safety that went in the first round, just so you know. So the way I look at it is that Dallas is still in play to get a safety at 44. And if they do, this changes the complete complexion of what we're trying to do. I still think they need a cornerback, so I don't know if they want to trade up and get the guy. I don't know what they want to do there, but... If I'm being completely honest with you, the draft's not over yet. Dallas, as of right now, has the most selections of this draft, you know, of this draft right now. Now, that doesn't mean anything if you don't get all the players, but this is step one. You get the best player on the board defensively in the first round where you were at. So you can't complain there. And I know I keep repeating myself, but really there's nothing is much more to say other than Dallas did a pretty good job here. Uh, and I'm not trying to sit here and say that it's going to be one way or the other. It's just, you got to look at it. Hey, you got a third round pick and the guy you wanted. So I don't know how you guys feel about it. I know some people don't like it. Some people love it. Me personally, hey, I really like it. I'm, I'm going to most likely get his jersey because I'm excited to see another great linebacker coming out of Penn State were rather a great linebacking prospect out of Penn State, and the tradition continues there. You basically, with Sean Lee out of the building, granted he wasn't doing much, you get uh, a guy coming in here that's going to basically really be an anchor on this defense. You want to rebuild this defense, you start out with your front seven. You got one, you got the first part, which is a linebacker. And he's that one step getting closer to having a really good, not a really good defense, but you get the point I'm trying to get is, hey, day one's down, got four picks tomorrow. So hopefully the Cowboys come out of draft day two with a couple great guys to continue building up this defense. Dan Quinn, I don't know if he had any influence on this pick. Uh, from what I hear, the Cowboys had Micah really high on their board. Uh, I don't know if that's a scouts thing or if that's just the coaches thing, but I don't know if you guys can fill me on it, that'd be great. But no, Micah Parsons, the pick at 12. I like it. I think that the Cowboys so far get off on the right foot in this draft by addressing defense, and they needed to. So yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to see what happens next, uh, next, <laughs> the next day, I should say. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Tell me how you feel about it in the comments. All right, guys, bye bye.